September 1st, He restores my soul. Psalm 23, 3. The first point we would look at is the love of the Lord Jesus in restoring a wandering believer. Nothing but infinite mind the same principle that led to the first step in declension from God leads us to each successive one. Until, but for restraining and restoring grace, the soul would take an everlasting farewell of God. But mark the expression of David. He restores my soul. Who? He of whom he speaks in the first verse as his shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. It is the shepherd that takes the first step in the recovery of the wandering sheep. If there is one aspect in the view of this subject more touching than another, it is this, that such should be the tender, unchanging love of Jesus towards his wandering child. He should take the first step in restoring him. Shall an offended, insulted sovereign make the first move towards conciliating a rebellious people? That sovereign is Jesus. Should an outraged father seek his wandering child and restore him to his affections and his house? That father is God. Oh, what love is that which leads Jesus in search of his wandering child, love that will not let him quite depart, love that yearns after him and seeks after him and follows after him through all his devious ways, his intricate wanderings and far-off departures, love that no unkindness has been able to cool, no unforgetfulness has been able to weaken, no distance has been able to destroy. Not less conspicuous is the power of Jesus in the restoring of the soul. He restores my soul, he, the omnipotent shepherd. We want omnipotence to bring us back when we have wandered. Nothing less can accomplish it. We want the same power that converted to reconvert. The power that created to recreate us. This power Jesus possesses, it was essential to the full salvation of his church, that he should have it. Therefore, when praying to his Father, he says, as you have given him power over all flesh. Why this power? That he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. It was necessary that he should have power over all flesh, yes, over all the powers leagued against the church that he should bring to glory all that were given to him in the covenant of grace. Now this power is gloriously exerted in the restoring of the soul. Jesus works in the believer in order to his recovery. He breaks down the hard heart and arrests the soul in its onward progress of departure, places upon its powerful check, lays it low, humbles, abases it, and then draws from it the blessed acknowledgement, Behold, I am vile, but he restores my soul.